plus were on hand for homecoming. Uh, tied at three in the second, the Lobos Donovan Portery picked off by redshirt freshman Martel Fantroy. Check out the nice return by Martel as he takes it to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. Inside the 10, he looks like he's going to score, but he's pushed out at about the six-yard line. That would set up Kevin O'Connell a few plays later. The senior quarterback jumps over the top into the end zone for the score. New Mexico that would tie it up just before the half. Portieri to Travis Brown with that great grab right there over the top of the defensive back. We head to the break tied at 10. In the third, it's O'Connell again. Nice play fake by the LCC grad right there, and he rushes it up the middle. His legs getting him into the end zone for the second time on the night, and I smell an upset 17 to 10 at this point. These are the Aztecs, folks, in the fourth after a Lobos field goal. Portieri throws his second pick of the night and ends up in the hands of Aaron Morta in the New Mexico drive. But again, watch what the Aztecs do. O'Connell trying to run up the clock. He gets the first down, and then he <coughs> coughs up the ball. New Mexico recovers with about 136 left, so the Lobos get another chance. And after an SDSU penalty, they put that ball in the hands of Rodney Ferguson. And Rodney Ferguson scores as SDSU just completely gives away a win. No money for the alumni for me this year. Uh, New Mexico wins at the final 20-17. to Just trying to make a play, and, you know. Put the ball in the turf, can't do it and play. I mean, I uh, learned a long time ago, I mean, going into traffic, try to get two hands on the ball. And I think in the process of doing that, they were able to, to get it out, and that's on me. I mean, there's nothing, no other way to look uh, at it. Hey, he, it, Kevin's been playing good football, and he's played a good game tonight, and it, it didn't come down to that play. You know, we had we had, uh, had other opportunities to make plays, and we didn't. It, it didn't come down to that. At home Saturday night hosting Jacksonville. He picked this one up in the first quarter. And of course, the Josh Johnson show. He only played the first half, but he had a pretty good first half. He hits Godfrey Smith right here. 35-yard catch and run for the touchdown. 14-0 Toreros. And then how about Johnson with his legs? Tell me this guy doesn't have NFL potential as he scrambles in for the score. 21-7 Johnson accounting for six TDs on the night. Five through the air. One rushing as USD wins again the final 62-23. How about a little ALCS? Philip Rivers did, though, his first career rushing TD. Put the bolts up. 7-0. Special teams then came up huge as Carlos Polk forces the fumble on the kickoff and Brandon Seiler grabs the football out of the air and goes 23 yards for the score, 14-0. Broncos' next turnover came a short while later as Marlon McCree stops a Denver drive by stripping receiver Brandon Marshall, charges up 20-3 at the break. The passing game heated up in the second half. Antonio Gates had seven catches for 113 yards and a touchdown. Rivers finished the day 13 of 18 for 270 yards and two scores. This one here went to Vincent Jackson in the corner of the end zone. Now it's really a route, 34 to 3, and Phillip finally with something to smile about. Where have these Chargers been all season? While LT did have 140 total yards, not a bad game at all. His backup made the highlight reel. Michael Turner busting a big one in the fourth quarter, had 147 yards on just 10 carries. Great blocking downfield. Chargers get the win they needed. But North Turner says it's just the beginning. Things We took a step in the right direction. We have a long ways to go. We have a lot of work to do uh, in terms of knowing exactly everything we need to know about each other. And, uh, but we, we made progress today. I don't know if I've ever been more embarrassed. You know, I don't think our players have ever been more embarrassed to uh, put on that type of show. And like I said, you know, starts with me, and uh, I did a poor job getting them ready. And with the Chiefs losing, all of a sudden, the 2-3 and three Chargers are in a three-way tie for second place, half game behind the Raiders, who will be at Qualcomm Stadium next weekend. And with a win in that game, the Chargers would head to their bye week atop the AFC West standings. Move. Jay Cutler found Brandon Marshall, but he never secured the football. Marlon McCree forced it free. Quentin Jammer was in the right spot for the fumble recovery. Secondary played very well today. Chargers turned that into three points. In the sec third quarter, after a couple penalties, the Chargers face a second and 33. No problem for Phillip. The O-line gave him time. He found Vincent Jackson for 45 yards and a first down. That set up Antonio Gates with another huge game. Nine-yard score, and the Bolts led 27-3, and they weren't finished. Cutler again looking for uh, Marshall, but McCree was Johnny on the spot. With the interception, horrible pass by Cutler. He was held without a touchdown pass for the first time in his 10 career starts. 
Marlon finally decided to just drop. Happy, everyone? A little later, Rivers to Jackson, a perfect throw to the back of the corner of the end zone. Jackson with a nice job getting his feet down. Chargers up 34 to 3. And look at the stands. The rain came, the fans went. They'd seen enough. Michael Turner put the exclamation mark on the drubbing in the fourth quarter. Down the left sideline, Sim Osgood and Malcolm Floyd led the way. Conroy of blockers, 74 yards in the score. Chargers win 41 to 3. Stoney has more from the Mile High City. It's here to talk about what a football game last week. What a comeback. It was just unbelievable over at the queue and some of the other things that are happening at San Diego State. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Okay, first of all, the game. Wow. <laughs> Well, Holy right. cow, you guys were down 21 at one point. We were. I, I'm not sure in my 20 years in athletics I've, I've witnessed our team coming back from that big a deficit. So um, what happened? it was, was pretty it exciting. Divine was, intervention or something? You know what? I, I think, A, in the first half, um, we were a little rusty from the two-week layoff, uh, particularly related to the fires and not being able to practice. And I think we, once we really got going in the second half, uh, right, what you see there is Brent Swain's yeah, uh, let's do a little play -by -play punt here. return that really set us up here. And here's the touchdown pass. Uh, great scramble here by Kevin O'Connell and then right to Vincent Brown in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and I that think was seven. That was your first seven? No, no, that was to take the lead that at was the end to of take the fourth the quarter right there. And, and uh, I think this is probably the return of that subsequent kickoff with about a minute to go. This looks like it might be the interception that sealed it. No, that's the sack. A nice sack. Earlier. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah, that is. And, uh, and I think uh, this will end here with an interception uh, after this play, the very next play. In fact, I was on the sideline thinking, oh, darn it, on third down. Oh, we're not going to get the interception. Shoot, the game's over. In any event, some happy Aztecs fans, no doubt, that the Indians beat the Cowboys. <laughs> we, we did. It was a... Uh, a, a really good win for the program. Uh, the, the progress that Ch Chuck Long and his staff are making with this team are obvious to all of us. And, uh, and when you get rewarded with a big victory, that really helps. And there is actually an article in the paper today that talks about how young your team has been and how they're recruiting a lot of young people. So it has been a growing curve because the, really a lot of your players are, are young. Well, uh, if you look at our, uh, uh, I think Chuck Long says his top is 27 players who are playing right now are either freshmen or sophomores. So uh, it is a young team, and, and uh, they're, they're getting better and better every week. All right. Also, it was a big day because you were honoring the firefighters and the emergency workers, and that was really touching as well, and perhaps that's what gave these guys the fuel to come back. Well, we hope so. Uh, we really thought it was important. Uh, when you talk about the people that uh, were such leaders in our, in our community during that very tough time. I mean, Mayor Sanders is an Aztec. Uh, Sheriff Collender is an Aztec. Uh, Tracy Jarman, the chief of fire and rescue, is, a, is an Aztec. And uh, Ron Roberts, uh, county supervisor, is an Aztec. So we sure take a lot of pride in what leadership they gave us throughout those times. Yeah, for sure. So it was a great, great day. Great comeback and great victory. So congratulations on that. Thanks, Dan. Now we have to look forward to the basketball season, we do. which is underway. And the basketball team looking good again and getting some good props. Well, I think uh, they, they played their first exhibition game against Point Loma this week and uh, struggled a bit. Uh, we were without a couple of players that will play a lot for us this year, but a couple of great freshmen. You see right there Tim Shelton, uh, son of Lonnie Shelton, who played in the NBA for a long time, uh, really had a, a solid game. Uh, that's Lorenzo Wade with a big dunk. Nice, Lorenzo. Uh, but another, a, another freshman from L.A., uh, D.J. Gay, uh, right here. You'll see him on the layup. Uh, really going to be a great player to watch for the next four years. Yeah. We, go, we go to Fresno this weekend uh, for a tournament. Uh, they'll play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and, and against Bridget's alma mater, Fresno State, on, uh, on Sunday. Well, we shouldn't have much trouble with that now, should we? <laughs> <laughs> Fresno you said that. I did. <laughs> well, be, they'll be very tough. Well, I, I hope not. Well, listen, congratulations. Uh, things are looking good over there. Great game. Great to come from behind victory for the Aztecs and the, and the basketball team looking great. They are, and we're looking forward to uh, going to UNLV for football this weekend and, and having a, a good game. There you go. Jeff Schemmel, San Diego State Athletic Director. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Dan. Thanks okay. for having me. We'll see you next week. Thanks. With another victory in the belt.